Episode 7, For Whom the Bell Sings. Where do you wish to go? Welcome home, dearest sister. Two prison princesses! Is she your twin sister or something? Absolutely not, for I am the only princess. I don't have the slightest clue who she could be. How cruel of you to say you don't know me. I am this world's new princess, Naive. Oh, there's another one of her? What a pain. I'd prefer you not lump me in with her. I wish for everyone to feel equally happy. Through agony and despair. In other words, a tragic ending. A traumatic ending to bring death to the tail and happiness to all. What? A tragic ending bringing happiness to all? As if that could be true. It most certainly is true. I'll even prove it to you. Dear sister, has your ego clouded your memory? You were the one who used them the most. I... I beg your pardon? Your princes desire an unhappy ending for you because of how you are. Th th that's impossible! I am a princess after all! I will have my happy ending! No, no! Twill be a tragic ending! No, no, twill be a happy ending. This is stupid. What's it matter either way? Prince said, of course it matters. We're to defeat the God of Destruction and have our happy ending together. <laughs> what? That zombie is your new prince? Honestly, you'll do anything to have your happy ending, won't you? Just how many men have you sacrificed? Hmm. If I remember correctly, she said Zed is number 666. Damn. That truly is cruel, no matter how you look at it. Surely no other princess is as bad an influence on children's television as this. We might need to change her name from Prism Princess to Prism B how can you do this to me? You're making me seem like some arrogant, self-centered egomaniac! Oh, you finally looked in a mirror, hmm? That's absolutely right. You are all those things. Also, everyone hates you. What? How could this be? Everyone hates me. I never knew. Could it be that I was the only one who didn't notice? <laughs> That's it. Fall deeper into despair, dear sister.
follow me, please. Loves me? Loves me not? Loves me? Loves me not? No! They actually do hate me, don't they? Who cares if people hate you? I've been hated as long as I can remember just for being a zombie. I'd appreciate it if you didn't compare me to a zombie, thank you! I am the princess of this world! Don't fret, Melodia. You can easily sway public opinion with money. Not a chance! If I turned into you, people would hate me even more than they do now. Oh, such hurtful words. And I was only trying to comfort her. I understand where she's coming from. Not wanting to be hated and all. A hero's nothing without public adoration. Hero or not, nobody wants to be hated. They've been trying to keep up appearances for so long. I know exactly how she feels. All I've been doing is taking steps to secure my happy ending. What exactly about that is deserving of hatred? Maybe because the way you sought out your happiness was selfish and thoughtless. Well, what am I supposed to do now? Take down the God of Destruction and get your happy ending. What else? So you're selfish and thoughtless. What the hell's wrong with that? Your world revolves around you. Who cares if they hate you? If you decide to do something, you better see it all the way through. Said. Come on! We're heading to take down the God of Destruction. Keep up or get left behind. Most people are weak. They fear being hated by others and worry too much about how they're perceived. But you truly don't fear anything, do you, Zed? You only continue to climb onward, concerned about nothing else. Your strength lies in your iron will. You started out as a weak zombie, but your will has kept you going through countless deaths even after losing Biko. I am not mistaken in my judgment. You will surely be the one to defeat the God of Destruction. <sighs> What's wrong with you? Still upset? I always believed that if I, as Princess, achieved my happy ending, then everyone else would get theirs too. But it seems that isn't true. Apparently, it was always a one-woman show. This world was once brilliant and beautiful. Smiles sprung when I sang, and birds chirped when I whispered. Then, the God of Destruction showed up and changed everything. Prince after prince met their end, and my songs fell on deaf ears. At some point, I ended up all alone. So I began to sing solely for my own happy ending. And here I thought you were just a selfish, arrogant, narcissistic, ungrateful snob. Yeah, a selfish, arrogant, narcissistic, ungrateful floozy, jumping from prince to prince. But you were really just lonely. Would you mind not rubbing salt in my wounds? I don't think I can sing when I'm feeling like this. Huh. Who the hell are you singing for? Huh? Nothing you could sing right now could ever measure up to Biko. Biko? Yeah. She was always singing for someone other than herself. Bubby! You're hurt. Were people bullying you again? Nah. I just tripped over one of the gravestones, that's all. A anyway, here you go. The villagers gave your stuffed animal back. Thanks, Bubby. But don't get hurt for Biko anymore, okay? Huh? I, I don't know what you're talking about. 
I'll sing a song to make Bubby feel better, okay? Biko, you really are such a good kid. Maybe you were an angel before you were a zombie. From now on, forever and ever, Bubby will protect you, Biko. Biko was always singing for someone else's sake. So who are you singing for? Uh, I... Where do you wish to go? Good day, dear sister. Have you fallen into the depths of despair yet? Tell me, Naive, will the bad ending you desire truly bring everyone happiness? <laughs> Why, of course it will! If you attain your happy ending, the only one who gets to be happy is you. But if it's a bad ending, everyone will feel exactly the same. All will be equal. No! That just means everyone ends up unhappy! That won't save anyone! Oh, but that's where you're wrong. Those who have been unhappy from birth will be saved. Someone like me, for example, who has always lived in the shadows as a replacement for my sister. You... you were my replacement? Precisely. From birth and understudy. La la la, isn't life awfully cruddy? But you see, the mighty god of destruction opened my eyes. If everyone is unhappy, then everyone is equal. That's why I've decided to lead the world to a bad ending with the god of destruction. Everyone will live happily never after. But that's nothing more than settling. I, for one, do not desire such happiness. <laughs> My, you truly are selfish, sister. That's precisely why we all hate you so much. My, my, how selfish of you, sister. We're all trying so hard to reach our bad ending, but still you refuse. Don't you know everyone utterly despises you for that? You don't care about what happens to others. You only ever think of yourself. Who would fall for a princess like that? W well Can you not see that for everyone's sake, la la la, it's the bad ending in which you'll partake. She's just a twisted little child. But perhaps that's understandable, given her circumstances. <sighs> Cheer up, Prison Princess. Come on, your happy ending awaits. I'm not going. I know you all hate me as well. Ugh, you really are a pain in the ass. Yes. In the end, I'm merely a selfish, thoughtless pain in the neck. And to top it all off, I'm also a liar. A liar? I don't love you, Zed. I was merely forcing the role of prince upon you for my happy ending. Uh, that's not exactly breaking news. Huh? It's truly amazing that you thought we weren't already aware of that. Huh? Then why are you staying by my side, Prince Ed? Uh, well... Do you like me? No, of course not! I'm just hanging around you so I can take down the God of Destruction. Duh! Quit your yapping and let's get going already, dammit!
去。